G'day punters, uh, I've got something special today. Uh, I'm going to take apart one of my old boxes of uh, electronic strangeness. If anyone knows what this is or how you use it, I'd be interested to find out. I think Bruce Lee used something like this uh, to get his stomach really, really ripped. But uh, let's have a look at this unit before I take it to pieces. It's a galvanic sinusoidal ferratic unit and it's the 220 volt version even though it comes from the J. Bieber company in New York, Philadelphia. So a doctor or something had this specially delivered to Austria uh, because we found it at a um, estate sale. Check this out. Still works. Personally, I don't want to try to use it because what I can tell about this unit is that it's used to stimulate muscles. And the way that it stimulates muscles is kind of scary. All right, there's this. No idea what this hand tool is. No idea. But you have this sort of wet pad. I guess you dampen it. And you put this, these wires into this hole. I'm sure it gives some kind of electrical pulse of some kind, but I am not prepared to try it out. I don't believe it's a defibrillator. It's far too delicate to be a defibrillator. It has too many settings. And also when I looked up what a uh, galvanic sinusoidal ferratic unit could be, I came up with all of these muscle moving machines. These uh, electronic muscle stimulators. So you can see the lamp is nice and bright. It's shining and even the, the design of the buttons and things are so cool. You can see every part of this machine has been built with care and I wouldn't be surprised if it was handmade and everything here is very very nice. Uh, I cleaned out the fuse the other day and switched it on and the thing works. Turn it off now. Beautiful big chicken head knobs on it, two giant chicken heads. Uh, these uh, on-off switches are unbelievable. You can feel the power. You can't get that wrong. Uh, the fuse, I don't think I could salvage. Uh, these switches I'll salvage. I'll try to salvage everything that you can see on the face of this unit. But I'm going to unplug it because it takes full house power. And uh, I'd never work on something like this while it was plugged in. Plus, look at this. The switch, uh, sorry, the, uh, the plug is Bakelite. See here, that dark brown color? It has pictures of chestnuts or acorns around the edge. Maybe someone can even tell me how old something like this is. Look at that. It looks like an American plug. So it's kind of interesting, but anyway, it's, it's not, it's not plugged in anymore. Now I can open the thing. I'm going to take the guts out. Poppy's there, of course, uh, for emotional support. Poppy, Poppy, are, are you dead? Poppy, there you go. She's not dead. All right, she's here. She's here for emotional support. So forgive my allergies, by the way, if I'm sniffling a little. 
and then I've got to try and figure out how to film this the best way so you can really see the guts on the inside of this machine. Okay. I'm sure Bobby will get out of the way when time comes. All we really want to see is the device and as I pull it to pieces, uh, what's left inside. That should be quite interesting. I'll flip the, the view over as well. Thought you might get a better view from this side. All I've been doing is using the kitchen scissors because all my tools are packed up. And just cutting through these wires up here so that I can sort of get into the, the heavy machinery down the bottom. All right, so I'll just cut through here. I'll desolder and clean up everything later. I'm just amazed this thing used to work. There's probably a capacitor in here somewhere that I want to stay away from. And there's a giant ass valve. Wow, look at the size of that thing. RCA. All right, at the bottom. Okay, licensed only to the extent indicated on carton. Well, where's the carton? So, I don't know what capacity this thing is. I can hear rattling around. This thing looks like it's been blown out. But the cool thing with these is they can even work when the glass isn't even on them. They just sort of make noises and rattle and stuff. But look, even the base of it here, the baker light's breaking. If you twisted the lamp, it might even break out. I shouldn't put too much pressure on it. Um, yeah, here's an old blown tube, made in USA, S6E, I hope you can see that. Alright, we won't be needing any giant valves. Like I said, if there's a capacitor here, which could be this big thing here, I have to stay away from it with the scissors, or I could electrocute myself, even though it's turned off. A capacitor is something that builds up electricity and then stores it for a short time. Wow, that is an antique. All of these, um, all of these wires are fabric. Uh, the, the, there's a little sort of shielded uh, sort of plastic, or maybe it's got Bakelite on it. Yeah, it's kind of like a coated um, woven fabric on this one. There's no rubber in here. Uh, everything is fabric. So uh, you can imagine the wiring must be kind of dangerous after a while. And this is a waxed 
thread that holds it all together. Um, everything is looks like it's cotton. I'm not sure if it's really cotton. You can leave a comment if you know what it's really made of. But this stuff's really old. Older than most things that come into my house. Look at that. That is one hell of a, a switch. Uh, it looks like three of the switches were being used. Um, as you can see, oops, on this side. Galvanic, oh, galvanic, sinusoidal, and then ferratic, and this is the switch. Flip this bad boy over, and it could potentially have 10 different um, things that you could switch it to. This is switch is so old, I have never seen anything like it. It's actually a circuit board. <laughs> it's like what might be inside a switch these days, but it's on the outside because, you know, they just kind of, this was new technology at the time. Uh, and the, the dimensions of the switch are really amazing. It goes really deep into the, the box for no apparent reason. But I guess they had their reasons. Um, yeah, I'll be taking all of that off. It's unnecessary. And these kinds of switches, I don't even know how they use them anymore. Uh, they're a bit too technical, if you know what I mean. And that's just a switch. They've used enamel or something to glue on uh, these other smaller components. But I'll see what I can do about getting these switches off of the this board here. Of course, I'm going to keep this board because it's got cool things on it. Even if I keep these switches, I don't mind. Um, but I'll probably take the switches off. Look, the lamp still works. That is unbelievable. Uh, this lamp, let's see if I can clean it. I don't plan to use that lamp again. But uh, after, I don't know, 40 years, 50 years, this lamp still burns. <laughs> and the other side of this is really cool. It's sort of like a cut ruby design so that the light should uh, emanate from many, many different places or in an array. So that's a pretty cool thing. I'll keep what's on the top of this because this is the only stuff that I would want to keep anyway. And we'll have a look inside this box. good yeah all right you can sort of see what I'm doing not bad uh, okay everything in here is for junk um, I, I'm a little afraid to get in there with the scissors and cut all of these different things off because I don't know what they all are everything looks like a battery but you know it isn't and I could probably just pull them out by hand I actually feel safer doing that than using scissors What's a condenser? Wow, this thing is old as shit. New York. Oh, New York. An old condenser. 600 volts. Hmm. These are ceramic tubes. You can hear that they're ceramic when you touch them. And these ceramic tubes, uh, you can't see it, but they're, they're covered in a, a layer of uh, ceramic. Uh, but underneath it, there's actually wire. And it looks like the wire is actually coiled all the way underneath here. So under here is some kind of, I don't know, energy field or something. Maybe it's a resistor. 
So by the time that the power gets from one end to the other end and that it's actually stepped down a little? I don't know because this stuff is actually before my time. I'd like to learn a bit about this old stuff, but I would never use it because I don't trust it. I'm afraid of everything catching on fire. I've just been sneezing for the last 10 minutes because the amount of dust in this old thing. Mm. Oh, damn it. What the hell is that? It's got an infinity symbol or an 18. Or is it 81? Um, no idea what that is. It doesn't have any markings. It looks like a tin can. If you left this at a train station, uh, the bomb squad would be there in 10 seconds. I have no idea. Maybe that's the capacitor. <coughs> we have these little paper condensers for 600 volts and everything else is just these odd uh, resistors. I don't have any other tools except this one screwdriver. That's why I have to use my hands for some of this. It's a bit brutish. I'd rather not do it that way. But uh, I have to try and get this damn thing out because it's very, very heavy. And I don't want to take it with me. But I do want to keep the box because the box itself seems to be of some value. Even just to reuse. Here's another very heavy magnet at the back. They're not very powerful magnets though. Wait a second, I might have been doing this all wrong. It looks like you could even, maybe even lift up this last piece of wood. I'm not sure if that's true. Oh, I think it is true. Look, oh, I did not know that. Let's go outside. All right. So I had to come outside. Had to come outside and do the last part because all the gears are going to fall out of this box when I pull it up. I want you to have a look at this because it's kind of interesting.
These screws are just spinning. Old Bakelite plug. Alright, now I can pull it out and show what I meant when I said that it has a box within a box. This is how they can work on it outside the box. All the electronics are on this part here. I think it was this piece of paper here that was causing me to sneeze so much. I'm not sure what it was in there for. Maybe uh, it looks like parchment paper. 
maybe it's in there to absorb moisture uh, and yeah it, it absorbed moisture but maybe because this box is so old it also absorbed all kinds of other stuff and that's what led to my sneeze attack about 20 minutes ago thankfully the box is all broken up now So check this out. Now I have a perfectly good box. The box itself I'm leaving in this particular state out in the open in the midday sun to sort of uh, hopefully kill some mold or bacteria that might be growing in there. I didn't see any actual green mold or anything but definitely I, I was sneezing a lot a lot more than a normal person should so I'll leave it out this way and because it's black it's going to really cook out here in the sun. I'll take the face plate back in with me but I'll leave the box out here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that box. It cost me 20 bucks in the end. And here's all the junk that I pulled out from inside, including those weird pads that you, you wet and put on your body, like some sheet of um, lead, because it's bendable. And of course, all of these transformers and other bits and pieces that came out of the guts of it, which was really the weight of the whole box. I think uh, without anything in it, the box maybe weighs uh, maybe a kilo or two. But with all that other stuff in there, it was quite heavy. It was like 10 kilos, about 20 pounds. So that junk is going into the, the junk bin. And this thing is going to come back inside with me so it doesn't melt or do anything weird out in the daylight. Thanks for tuning in to More Base Workspace. This is just a, a little side project. Maybe in six months or, or a year, you might see me something do something with that box. And uh, either I'm going to make it into an effects box, uh, you know, like I did with the green one. I could put extra pedals and things into there and use that whole box as an effects unit. Or uh, I could just use it as a big toolbox and end up putting a lot of uh, tools and heavy tools and things in there like chisels and hammers because it's a pretty decent box anyway. Uh, I might have to reinforce it a little but uh, it's pretty strong and I'm pretty happy with this little $20 find. Uh, it's all packed up now and thanks for tuning in to More Base Workspace. This is John Green. Stay tuned, I will have a few more videos in a few weeks. I'm about to leave the country. This is the last thing I could get out before I go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Subscribe if you haven't, and uh, like it if you do. You must be dumpers. Three dump dump, now you dumpers. You just sound like the others. See what? Original, that's what. That's what.